on his equity, né? There is this thing that happens usually when you have invested or bought shares, né? And then uh, if you want to take them out or maybe uh, withdraw money out of them, you need to sell them first. And then after that, you can withdraw them from your uh, easy equity wallet or easy equity uh, bank in a way. Okay. Now, the question is, how are you going to do that on easy properties? I'm going to show you how you are going to do that. There's a bit of a process, but it's not that difficult. It's not that hard. Stay tuned. Watch until the end and like the video. Subscribe to the channel. That will be appreciated. Let's get into the video so that I can show you. You can learn next time. You won't have a problem. Thank you, ladies and gents. Let's go. First things first, ladies and gentlemen, you have two places you need to focus on. The first place is at the top where you see the wallet. You will see a two rents there. The second point is the option at the bottom, current value. Now, you want your current value to be up there on that wallet. But you can't just go there and just do it as simple as maybe it might sound or even look. The reason why you want to take your current value into the top part is because you want to withdraw. Because if you click withdraw, maybe just to make an example, you see that the only money that appears is this available to withdraw the two rents 93 that I was talking about. That is important. Now, you want to sell your shares. Remember, you have bought your properties. At the bottom, I'm going to show you the properties I have got. And then I will show you guys, or oh, I've got seven now. But you see, you can't just, guys, take this top part, this current value here, as it is, and maybe want to send it to your wallet at the top. No. You have to wait until there is what we call auctions in those properties that you want to sell the, pro, the, the, the shares for. You can see on my screen, I've got actually two of them who are, who are in auction, which I can go and actually sell those shares. I have done in both of them already. The reason why I did that, it was just to see guys on how it is done. Now, let me say this again. You have to wait until you have a auction on whatever property you want to uh, sell the shares for. And I don't think it's possible that all of them, they can be in auction in one day or maybe in one month. Okay, So you have to check your calendar on this website. I will show you where are you going to check. Now, at the top there, you will see there are other uh, properties also that are in auction already. If you want to buy, you can also, also go and do your dues if you want to do that. Okay, now I'm going to open one of the properties that are in auction already. I'm going to open this one, the second one, the Monroe one. You can see that there are details on the screen right now. You've got your the, the date the auction started. You've got also the date that is going to close. And then you've got on your side the right side, buy, sell. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to see the calendar or you want to see the dates on when the auction, the next auction is, is, is going to be, you can just view auction calendar over there. Simple as that. Now, let's say you want to sell now. Sell your shares. You, you open it the way I've opened it. You already have an amount of 156.99. That is actually the value currently. I'm going to open that and again okay then I'm going to click sell because you need to sell your shares if you want your money to go to, to your wallet then I'm going to click sell and then you're gonna get this page over here just leave the property part or the details there the market valuation whatever just go down then you will see this page this page is very important because oh if you want to sell your 
your, your, your shares, okay? Now, you've got your place a bit there. Forget about that one. Then you can go to place and offer. The first things first that you see there, it's number of shares you own, which is when I, I have 135.6453. And then at the bottom there, it says number of shares available to sell. Mm -hmm. So it is just like in a bank, in your app. If you've got an app, you will see that it will say to, to you balance. We put the, the number of the, the, um, the amount of your balance. And then it will say at the bottom, available balance. That means that money that is available for withdrawal. Simple as that. So even here, if there was a, a if there were shares that were available for me to sell, it was going to show them there. Actually, it was going to show the same number that you see 135.6453 at the bottom there. And then I can sell all of them if I want to do that. Okay. Then the way you will do it, you go on share shares to sell. Then you click that and then you put the number. Maybe you can say 135.64 and then you say 53. Let me just delete this zero over here. There you go. And then you go down. Then it will give you the details, the breakdown the, or on the shares uh, and all of that. And then it will give you estimated VAT, estimated transaction fee, minimize the, invest, the investment value. And then you go down, you say, I confirm at the bottom over there, it's going to show you the place offer, which is going to be blue. It will have a blue background and then you click it. And then of course, your offer will be submitted. And then you are going to get an email and then the email will tell you and give you the price down and everything like that okay but now when you are done doing that remember guys you will going to wait you are going to wait until the auction is over you're going to wait until the auction is over and then you will be able to have your money at the top there with where you can see the two rents when your money is at the top there on that two rent that i was talking about then you will be able to withdraw it to your bank account. Obviously, investing, guys, entails what? Risks. So, we all know that, right? If you are interested in these type of things, it's very simple. You just register on Easy Equities and then you will get access to your uh, Easy Properties. Now, your Easy uh, Equities, let me go back to Easy Equities. This is your easy equities. After you register and you open your application or your app, it's going to show you this page and then you have your easy properties at the bottom uh, number two there, okay? And then you can click it and then you can open it and then you can do what you're supposed to do. I have done videos on how to invest. I've done the videos how to deposit. I would, I would link them or pin them in the description and maybe, no, I won't pin in them in the comments, but I would pin them in the description. If you're interested to see that, you can go and actually see that. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I hope you liked the video. Please, guys, if you are watching my videos by any chance, it happens that you open my video. Please like the video. I am asking and I am pleading with you. Uh, even if you are 13 people, you are 20 people, if you get to see my video, please like it, ladies and gentlemen, if you like it, please, I would appreciate that. I'm not asking you for any monies. I'm not asking you for anything just to use your finger, just to say like, because you like the video. Now, what happens is it increases the, you know, people actually will see, uh, will see the video. In other words, you are giving other people to see the information they will they, they, the youtube people they will see that you like the people like the video and then they will push it forward so that other people who might be interested they may see okay all the links in the description remember ladies and gentlemen thank you have a fantastic day and you have a great 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 day sharp sharp of it